Okay, so hey guys, welcome back to another predictions video, and in today's video, I'm going to be predicting the Joyce versus Zhang fight. If you're new around here, then you haven't subscribed, please do so. Like the video if you need like the video, and let's get straight into it. So, going into this fight, Joyce is 15 and 0 with 14 KOs, and Zhang is 24 1 and 1 with 19 KOs. This fight is for the WBO interim world heavyweight title. Uh, Joyce's last fight was a win via KO in round 11 versus Parker. And Zhang's last fight was a loss via unanimous decision versus Hergovic. Uh, so yeah, Parker's, that win for Joyce was a great win and a very, very impressive performance and a, an overall a war of a fight, to be honest. And the Zhang fight was a very, I mean, the Hergovic fight for Zhang was a very close fight. And arguably, I would say that it should have been a, and could have been a draw or even given to Zhang especially not a, a unanimous decision i do not agree with that but uh, it's whatever i still think that zhang proved to the people that he is a world level contender and that's making this matchup a very good matchup and i'm very excited for this matchup i think the way that bt has been going at the moment they've had some big fights on recently and hopefully they just keep on going with supplying with these big fights uh so also on this card is mayer versus Leonard Dator. Uh, in the in which I think Mayer will win via unanimous decision. Um, it's good to see Mayer back out fighting. I mean, she's she's in against a tough opponent, of course. Uh, Leonardo Tor uh, beat Baumgartner and was her only loss, and obviously that was earlier on in her career. But there's still something there in that. And Mayer, of course, is coming off the loss versus Baumgartner and gonna be wanting to rewrite her wrongs i suppose and going to be really determined to win this fight and i think she will certainly do that and this fight might be possibly seen as a bit of a stepping stone for the rematch versus baumgartner but of course she can't overlook uh, this opponent and I, I still think she will win very convincingly zhang is 39 and joyce is 37 so arguably they're both kind of at the, the end point of their career but they're both in the primes of their career and their performance wise and I mean, I think things are only going to go up for Joyce. If Zhang somehow manages to win this fight, then, um, I mean, I'm saying somehow there is definitely a big possibility they could, um, then this is going to be massive for him, and he probably will get thrown into a world title shot. Uh, at least you'd like to think maybe if not, then an, another interim or like an interim kind of level fight, um, because that will be a massive win for him if he can win this, and I respect him very much for coming back and fighting a person in Hergovic. I suppose Zhang probably knows that he hasn't got ages left in his career, and so he's going to be wanting now he's at this high level, these tough fights, and so I respect him for going straight back in from a close, tough defeat uh, to get himself back in with a very tough opponent. Uh, this is in Joyce's home country of England. Uh, of course, Zhang's going to be wanting to avenge his last fight with that controversial, to an extent, decision. Joyce, as a fighter, he's an attacking fighter. He imposes his physical physicality. He has an amazing chin. He's a pressure fighter. He jabs well. He's durable. He's well-conditioned. He's relentless. He has good combinations. He's patient. He finds the openings. He's consistent. He stalks you down. He throws big hooks, and he wears you down. This thing that everybody's been talking about is his chin. And, I mean, that really, really got tested versus Parker and has been tested in some of his other fights, but especially did versus Parker and the fact that he could just get through that without even really seeming phased or even in the later rounds he just seemed like he could keep on coming and just not be kind of stopping with the pressure it's just very very impressive and nobody's really seemed to be able to do that versus Parker and to be able to stop Parker I think that was the first time that Parker's been stopped like I said it's very impressive and really did assert himself as a top one of the top heavyweights around at the moment and yeah, it's just, I don't know how he's got that amazing chin, and he just has, and of course he is a big guy, and so he always imposes his physicality, and I suppose fighting somebody like Zhang, a six foot six guy as well, and a very tall kind of presence, and big presence as well, it's going to be maybe something a bit different for Joyce, not being able to impose his figure quite as much, but he has been in there with other big opponents in the past, but I'm just going off the last fight versus Parker, where Parker isn't exactly a small figure but he's not as one of the biggest um heavyweights around and so he can kind of, he could kind of like assert his physicality a bit more uh, i don't know if he'll be able to do that quite as much in this fight but uh, you never know uh, of course he's very well conditioned i'd like to say that 
kind of in the later rounds he gets into it more and he is a bit of a so starter at times but he does work his way up and that was what he was doing versus Parker and that's how he managed to get him out of there because Parker was looking very tired and quite sluggish as well really at the end of their fight but Joyce was just getting better with each round and improving with each round and I think the fact that he is a bit of a slow patient starter can and does work in his own favour and I'm sure that's part of a game plan as well. Uh, he is a bit like reckless I suppose at times um, he can go in like I said he throws the big hooks and there's not they're not really overly technical or anything like that but they're powerful very powerful of course both fighters are very powerful fighters and I think that's something which I think if he fought somebody maybe like a Usyk then it could be a bit of a different story for him because he might be outboxed and I mean he has fought Usyk in the amateurs and he did lose but he did get outboxed but this kind of opponent in Zhang isn't going to be somebody which you can really envision outboxing uh, somebody like Joyce or just in general outboxing anybody because that's just not really his style. Um, so I'm sure that's something you haven't really got to worry about too much with this opponent. Uh, Joyce is kind of the negative side of him, I suppose. He's not as fast. I mean, sometimes he's quick on his feet, but in that park fight, he wasn't overly fast. Uh, he's not got crazily good athletic ability. Um, he can be hit. He does kind of use his chin as defense which obviously it's been working out for him at the moment but you can't always do that and I'm sure maybe later on in his career it might affect him more um, especially with the fact he is 37 that kind of age might it might kind of come all at once where it's just it's just going to struggle with being able to do that and it'll be interesting to see when he does get to that point where the chin isn't quite what it used to be um, he is got he's got a bit low agility at times he can headhunt at times. I think he is good when he does go to the body and does cook, put combinations together, which he was doing best Parker in the in the kind of mid rounds and towards maybe the later rounds he was just going headhunting a bit. Obviously he managed to get the knockout, so it's fine and fair enough. But yeah, it's just yeah, it's something that you don't really need to see all the time. It's better when he isn't just headhunting because obviously he does seem to damage everybody's eyes. Uh, when he fights but yeah it's just I, I like it when he does go to the volley and he just switch things up a bit uh, he's not got the best of movements uh, it's not bad movement for a heavyweight but it's not a crazy amount um, he's not overly accurate either he can miss a lot of shots and so maybe if you're against a quick counter puncher like what a Usyk might be or it might it might test that more but obviously I'm speaking about somebody he's not even facing here um, but overall he is a very tough opponent a very durable opponent like I said and a world class level opponent and it's going to be a very tough test for Zhang here so yeah let's speak about Zhang I mean he's a fast starter sets should be shots well uh, he's a press up puncher he takes fights to the opponents uh, he, he's not overly crazily well conditioned uh, he can slow down a bit in the later rounds um, overall I mean obviously he's got that power in him as well that big left hook and it's just it's it's impressive to watch him fight i love watching him fight i think he's very entertaining even in his press conferences he can be entertaining for this he's been quite entertaining saying so he doesn't even english isn't his first language it's he's just been very entertaining still um and that is kind of what he is as a fighter but of course in that hergovich fight like i said he did assert himself as a world level opponent and i think for joyce this is a fight which I, I think is good for him and stylistically I think it is goes in his favour a bit more because I think he's more used to fighting opponents that are quite big and do like to put on pressure but do slow down a bit in the later rounds. It's a similar kind of fighter to Parker. I just think he has a bit more of a presence with the Leicester hook and is just a bigger guy and physically bigger and so that's something which would be a bit of a different test but overall I think he is a similar kind of fighter to what Parker is I would like to see Zhang versus Parker I think that would be a great fight after this fight um, but of course it would be an interesting fight I do really like this fight like I said um, I'm kind of just waffling now I'm trying to think if there's anything else I've got to say for this fight I don't think so so let's go into the actual prediction part of it so Joyce is the favourite for this fight and I think that Joyce will win via KO in round 10. I think the only chance of Zhang being able to win realistically is a counter really early on that kind of catches Joyce flush and maybe gets a knockdown, but I just don't see it happening. If Zhang could maybe go to a decision, sometimes Joyce doesn't mind giving a round or two away, so maybe that's something, but I just don't see 
Zhang Chin at his, his age either uh, being able to withstand Joyce, especially in the later rounds where he's still going to be thrown with a lot of volume and uh, with great intent. And see, so, yeah, I do think he'll be able to get a late stoppage, similar, like I said, to the Parker fight. I think it will be a similar kind of fight. Um, and then next options, Are people speaking about Wilder. I mean, that's the that is a big fight to make, especially because it is a fact of probably one of the hardest hitters in the world versus one of the best chins. Can his chin be tested against a Wilder punch? Uh, but I don't think Wilder is going to want to take that fight because I think the main weapon for Wilder is his power, and if somebody's kind of being seen to be able to stop that power then I just don't see why Wilder would want to take it when there's probably other options out there for him so I've not put him as a main option I think Fury could happen uh, with the way that things are going with Usyk at the moment and of course the Frank Warren being the promoter for both that definitely could happen um, Usyk could be an option I doubt he would fight him obviously I know Joyce wants to fight him to avenge the loss in the amateurs but I just don't see that happening right now uh, Ruiz, I wouldn't mind that as a fight. I think that'd be a, possibly a bit more of a difficult fight to make because, of course, it's the American side of things. Uh, I would really like that fight, though. Um, there's other options out there. Otto Wallen's been spoke about. Uh, I don't know how much I like that, but it's not the worst kind of thing. I would just like to see him go up against... Like, he's been improving with his opponents every time, at least as of recent, maybe not when he, when he fought Hamer, but... Now he is improving with his opponents every time, and I would just like to see him go with that next step up, which I think is a maybe a Ruiz or a Joshua, perhaps, or Wilder, or somebody at that level uh, opponent next. Uh, but yeah, it'd be interesting to see where he goes from here. But yeah, that is it for today's video. Hope you did enjoy. Like if you did, like this, subscribe if you're new, and thanks for watching.